Hi friends, today I am discussing with you application or authentication and how you will uh, authorize in your application like uh, ERP, uh, which is uh, for a uh, group of company. Now I show you uh, today I am showing you how to create menu and create a authorization rule assign a menu to the rule uh, create user and assign the rule to user okay let's go uh, here I am logging with uh, in this organization I can change organization from here and there is no authorization actually in uh, my this in the organization then I have no any transactional not authorization uh, this is the default uh, authorization home and change organization option I cannot do any transaction from here Okay, if I change my uh, organization, okay, I'll, I get the transactional uh, authentication. Now I have created a menu uh, application developer. I am creating a menu this level, okay? Finding. Just I'm copying the. Actually, I'm copying the menu. Okay. This is two. Okay. This image, okay. See, the, I have no actually this. I not get now the view the menu yet. You can create a rule. You can create rule and uh, the rule. Uh, you can assign the rule in the euro in operating unit. Okay. Actually, I have previously created the following rule, like this admin. And this is uh, this rule have only two uh, organization authentication and transactional authentication. Okay. Now I am uh, the as in the menu. This is created uh, previously in this rule.
just pick the rule and you can you can also uh, gra uh, grant and revoke here you can also filter the module in your module here from here okay and uh, this is the name of rule by cascading uh, la li list of value uh, you depend on the rule okay if I change his user, I can get his user. Okay. If I change the rule, I can get value here. Rule. Okay, sys admin. I'll actually privilege grant. Uh, I can I select this here. Yeah. Um, rule menu and uh, grant. Get user. Actually, uh, I am not getting a uh, user. You can get a user. Uh, I can get user here. User, user ID and password. Yeah, you use your HRMS sample name and, and ID, phone contact status. And there is also two level control entity that means your organization con uh, access. If you want to access uh, uh, which organization uh, your user uh, want to access the uh, in this organization and the rule, okay. user and uh, this this user only one organization uh, access okay and in this organization access there is two level yeah user level also and also in rule level if you role assigned to uh, many organization but if you user authorize on uh, one organization user uh, only authorize for one organization transaction and you can uh, assign multiple rule access rule here from here draw um, and you also can uh, no authorization okay i'm assigning the only system admin Also, I am assigning the rule to user. <coughs> access rule as in man. Here is uh, assign the access rule. Sys admin and organization on only. Or trading company, okay. And we see item master. Okay, we check our menu. menu is not in OF okay that's why I'm not if I authorize you do not get this okay
and I have only one organization of uh, authorization to transaction but in my rule have multiple but in my rule have uh, two organization uh, author authorization organization uh, authorization in user uh, level this is the final actually I am assigning another organization okay. uh, this uh, I have here also same authorization okay okay let's change and see the fit. Changing the sys admin user role that is revoke the disorganization. Okay, oh, god, no, there is no authorization. Okay, immediately. Okay, let's go and. And let's see another organization in role, but in my my user have no authorization in uh, uh, transactional authorization in user level. Okay, let's see not get okay. Get uh, this organization. Okay. If I authorize this user to transaction this organization, okay. Now I get this. you can uh, revoke also uh, and you can also uh, authorized uh, the rule uh, with any any menu okay uh, like in system admin you uh, we assign many option and we can also here uh, revoke like 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 this important edit okay this menu is we authorize in uh, level but we can also uh, revoke from here And also can use a level uh, control like like like. Uh. Though uh, this user have the system admin privilege, but if I uh, exception control F one to control exception, you can do this. I only revoke uh, one menu from this user, not in role. Okay, if accessible no. And get not get not get though this menu was in my uh, system admin role.
Thank you very much. Uh, you uh, watching the video, uh, you can uh, apply this in your application uh, easily. Uh, also again, and uh, if you know, who is in your organization, and uh, all transaction will happen in system in this organization. Who is if your organization changes, we when I do any transaction. <laughs> Uh, all, uh, all transaction will be happy in this organization. In SAP, in SAP application, uh, in every time uh, user have to define the organization in every uh, transaction. Uh, but for a sort smaller, for uh, but for a smaller uh, ERP, uh, it is not. Uh, it is uh, time consuming uh, user and user get annoyed uh, doing this uh, uh, every in every transaction in EBS also uh, EBS, uh, EBS also uh, organization authentication in uh, responsibility level uh, they, are, they, they change the responsibility also change organization when uh, like uh, like this the in, in transaction I think this is the easier way to uh, authorize and user, user control in user um, control for a uh, organization level uh, thank you very much bye bye